Germany and I was an exchange student in 2010-2011. Besides falling in love with the US and feeling at home there, it also changed my life for the better. As almost all exchange students I learned to be confident and that I do not need to be afraid of speaking any other language and being different. It is okay to be different. I made a lot of connections to people around the world and I'm still in touch with most of them. Actually, I'm meeting up with one of my best AYE friends from Denmark at least once a year. But it doesn't matter how often you see or speak to each other. I have another close friend, um, she is from Japan and therefore it is really really tough to find a time to Skype. The only and last time we did a video share was a year ago. When we saw each other, she began to cry and some of you might know that people from Japan do not show their feelings as openly as the Western culture does. It was a great honor to me. Those contacts showed me that I love to help people from different countries to understand another culture. So I decided to study social anthropology and intercultural European and American studies. I want to help immigrants understand the German culture so that they feel home as soon as possible and so that they that the least intercultural problems arise. Currently I help other exchange students in such problems by counseling them. So, well, let's make the world a little smaller. I thank Rotary from the bottom of my heart for the great experience that I made. Thank you. Uh, hello, my name is Åsa Florell and I'm from Sweden. I visited the US in 1996 and 1997. Uh, I first realized what my year abroad had given me when I got home again. I realized that both my self-confidence and my self-esteem had grown a lot bigger. Um, before I went to the US I had a really hard time uh, taking both um, positive and negative criticism, especially on the soccer field. Uh, when I got home, I realized that I could handle both of them a lot better. Uh, my year abroad also uh, got me to a better understanding for people from different countries, different cultures, uh, which has helped me. Um, and in my career, learning to speak English has also helped me. Uh, my employers during, during the years have uh, used me, uh, have have had use of me, and my English speaking, when English speaking has been needed. Um, and I really want to thank Rotary so very, very much for giving me the opportunity to go over and see your beautiful country. And I want to thank Doug and Mary Cook, my host parents, for treating me as one of their own family members and for still doing that. Bye. Hey guys, Vincent here from Belgium, exchange to 0506 to the US. So how did my exchange here impacted my life? That's easy to answer. One of the best experiences I ever had. Uh, we we'll always be thankful to Rotary for what they've done and to my host family as well. Um, and we redo it in a blink of an eye and we don't exchange it for a dime in the world. Uh, obviously there is a cultural aspect, language, uh, family, um, friends, whether it's where you go or around the world. But personally, it's, uh, so it's impacted my life on a daily basis because I made the mistake to pick up a lacrosse stick when I was uh, in high school in the US following the advice of one of my house family and I never measured the impact it would be um, 10 years later. So now uh, I literally, uh, I started my own club in Belgium where there, the sport was not, not there at all. I'm president of um, the Belgium Lacrosse Federation. I played uh, in the last world championship in Denver 2014. Um, and now I'm training the national team, getting ready for the European Championship in Budapest. Uh, also, as you can see, I'm at uh, Brussels Airport. 
Um, I'm actually on my way to uh, the US for the Lacrosse convention when I'm a, a guest. Uh, I would be staying with one of my old uh, high school friends. So again, daily basis. And uh, as I will be in Baltimore, I will also uh, go up to Philly to visit my, um, my old uh, house family, which uh, I literally love. We'll always uh, be thankful to them and try to visit them as often as I can every time I uh, step uh, into the US. So literally, tremendous experience. The more you give, the more you embrace it, the more you take out of it. Only advice, enjoy it. See you guys, take care. Hello, my name is Jorge Morante and I'm from Lima, Peru. I was an exchange student from 2003 to 2004, and I lived in Willow Grove, Pennsylvania. I decided to go on an exchange program because I wanted to learn about cultures, and I wanted to challenge myself in a new environment, with a new family, new friends, in a new society. And I wanted to grow from being a young teenager into a young man, looking at the Rotarians as a role model. I know for a fact that my year in the US was a one in a lifetime experience. It shaped up my personality, showed me the importance of caring about family and our responsibility of a human being. Besides, I got to go to nine proms with 10 different girls in one year. On a professional base, my year in the US made me wanted to work within international business and nowadays I get a chance to negotiate with people around the globe and understanding their cultural backgrounds. Thank you Rotarians for this experience and for your support and for allowing this program to be the best of the best. Thank you. Bye bye. Hi, my name is Marika. I'm from Holland. In 1996, when I was 16 years old, 20 years ago, I stayed with Emory Valenza and the Valenza family in, the, in their house. Um, I was in the first year of my culinary arts t uh, studies and my goal then was to open a restaurant. Uh, this dream has come true last year. Uh, we opened a pancake and ice cream restaurant in Amsterdam and this is where I am now. Um, through the exchange program, I gained more confidence in myself that I could do it. I improved my English and I was able to end my studies in London where I worked for a year. And I want to thank the Rotary and the exchange program for everything and above all the Valencia family. Thank you very much and when you're ever in Amsterdam, please come and have a pancake with me. Thank you. Bye bye. My name is Amber Madsen. Um, I went on exchange to Brazil in 2002-2003. Initially I was drawn to the Rotary Exchange program because my Aunt Laura had been a foreign exchange student and she went to Greenland and then to Russia and had a fantastic experience, really loved it. So that's really what initially drew me to the program. Since my exchange, years after, I've benefited in so many ways. Um, it's hard to keep it short. Um, so my experience has been included in interviews and um, it, it was part of getting into college and drew me to the program that I was interested in and, and has really kind of set the tone and, and set me apart as a candidate as well as just an individual um, you know because you have the additional language experience you have the additional culture experience and just in general um, I think it really affects how you see the world and people appreciate that perspective um, I really can't thank the Rotarians enough for allowing this program to continue and to support young minds like my own. Alright, keep doing the good work. Thanks guys.